Oh yes, nature. No matter how urbanized our society becomes, escaping to the great outdoors reminds us just how human we really are. From hiking and getting fresh air, from sitting around and playing with mother nature. The warm campfires, marshmallow s'mores, the time spent with friends and family, to the cool starry nights and light shows the universe shows us to remind us how small we really are. But I hate sleeping on the ground and in the dust. Sleeping on the ground can be very awkward. And if the ground isn't perfectly flat or manicured, your back is 100% certain to find the biggest rock or root to lay on all night long. But then I found this. I am obviously late to the rooftop tent game. But these are still really amazing and fit my needs of being mobile and staying off the dust and rocks. But I have a big problem. My car doesn't have a roof rack to put a rooftop tent on. And the only way that I'm going to sleep like a baby in nature is if I get one. So Amazon to the rescue. Thank God it came pretty simple because I ain't got time for all that. So when you're installing the roof bars, you want to make sure you clean the contact area between the vehicle roof and the roof bars thoroughly. Next, you want to open the lock using the key that was provided. Open the cover flap and connect the torque wrench to the tensioning bolts and unscrew until an obvious resistance is felt. Swivel out the claw fasteners and hook the narrow end of the claw fasteners in the installation position on the base support. Find out which bar goes in front and the back. This one goes to the back. Unhook the claw fastener from the installation position on the support bracket by pulling upward, then swivel downward. Check the exact installation position of the roof bar. The positioning bolts of the claw fastener must be positioned precisely below the sidewall frame mounting holes. Move the roof bar forwards and backwards if necessary. The gap must not exceed one millimeter. Gently tighten tensioning bolts alternately using the torque wrench. Tighten until the torque wrench makes an audible clicking sound. Now it's time to close the locks and lock them. And voila, I am one step closer to putting a rooftop tent on my car. And now I need some of your suggestions out there. What kind of tent should I get? Should I get a soft shell tent or a hard shell tent? And what about the different types of brands? We got Tapui, Yakima, Tough Stuff, Smittybilt, and I'm sure there's tons of other ones. Let me know in the comments below.